And then what? So what about Wonder Man? Do you have everything ready? No, I'm. I'm. I'm going to try something a little different, but I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh, so give me. Let's talk about Wonder Man then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think about it? The yeah. casting for Wonder Man. So it's uh, Yahya Abdul Mateen the second, mm-hmm. I believe, is his full name. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've never, I've never in my life picked up a Wonder Man comic, and uh, my knowledge of him is very, very scattered. But I like Yahya Abdul Mateen. I think he's a great new, um, kind of, kind of newer actor. So I'm good with it. You know. I, lo- I, I like I loved him. Well, not loved. I I really liked him as Black Manta. Oh yeah, I did love him as Black. Oh, Manta. I loved him as Black. Oh Manta. Yeah, yeah, he was one awesome. of my favorite things about the Aquaman movie. I thought he was great. Uh, I thought he was great in Candyman. Uh, he was probably. Oh hey. come on! <laughs> hey, that's one. He's it's got still Halloween, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna so start saying thirty more minutes. Just just to troll you. So, you know, honestly, oh, you know what's gonna happen? Uh, Mariah Carey's gonna come out of your mirror, and she's gonna take you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in a good way either. Just like, man, what? Where did that that awesome, beautiful hand come from? And why is Brandon in half? It's she's ripped him in half, like with two horns, like Black Adam. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> um, <laughs> Black Adam. What? What else? He he was one of the few people in that new Matrix movie that actually kind of seemed to be trying as well. Mm-hmm. He was obviously no Lawrence Fishburne, but he did good enough with what he yeah. had. Yeah, he did a good job though. So him as Wonder Man, I'm in, I'm intrigued. Based on what little I've read about the character, I'm fine with it. Are you think this will be real? Uh, people are gonna be a lot very upset with the fact that he is traditionally a white character, and now we get, he's gonna be it's gonna be a black character. <laughs> Of course, of course they are. They probably already are. I've been, I, I, I haven't been really visiting any any message boards or any Instagram posts because of that. Because I know it's just going to annoy me. I don't know because yeah. I don't know anyone's like clamoring for Wonder Man. But you know, they they like to pretend like they did. You know, yeah, they like yeah. to pretend like they did. You know, so I'm sure they're already they're already doing it right now. It's the same people that were out there saying, "Not my aerial," you know. <laughs> Not that fish. Uh, <laughs> but do you don't think it's that? That could also be Marvel testing the waters for Professor X. I think that's different because they can easily retcon Wonder Man, who, like you guys said, no one really knows, to yeah. being you know uh, a black man. Everybody knows Professor X. Yeah, so I I think you might get a lot of like people. You know, but that's why like, I didn't say like, Magneto because I think everyone knows Magneto is Jewish. That's just we know his background from the Holocaust. You part know, of the, story. It, the story his his story is so well known. I don't think you could change that. Yeah, I you know it, it, you could put Denzel as, as much as you want. It just wouldn't make sense. Yeah. So I agree. So, but, but yeah, that's a good question. I, I think that it's Disney might be Marvel's testing the waters, seeing what people say, you know, what they it will say. Be, like I said, Wonder Man just kind of comes off as, um, you know, despite what one may think of him as a character, I don't know enough about him, but he does seem like a little more of an obscure character that you could kind of get away with it. Do you find it very interesting that when now that we don't have T'Challa and we, everyone's hearing all these these things about you know Wakanda forever, that they have another black character now who's you know, that stands for all these great things again and has superpowers and all that, you know, like another character we could bring into the Marvel. Is it just coincidence that we, we get this casting information now 11 days before it comes out or 10 days before it comes out? Well, you know, reading up on the character at first. Um, just kind of reading up on like his backstory and history, I, you know, kind of read up on him and watched some YouTube videos. He didn't seem to start out as the greatest guy, based on what I know as of, of Wonder Man. He kind of started out as a, as, a, as, a, as a bit of a dirtbag, based on what I've read. <laughs> okay. So I wonder if they're going to do that or if they're going to friendly him up. Um, it has yet to be seen, but it kind of seems like, based on what I've been reading, 
they're going to kind of go like a, a lighter tone because, you know, Wonder Man was also a part time actor based on what I know in the comics and used his money for for kind of, um, you know, fame and fortune, kind of like kind of like um, I think like one of the immediate comparisons I could think of based on what I've read of him is, is kind of like Booster Gold to an extent. I was just, thinking, uh, what's the, what's the um... just in terms of how he uses his powers for fame. Because he's like a part time, but like actor and stuntman. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, Booster Gold used his. Used his powers or his tech for like fame and fortune. So I that was like the immediate comparison that I thought of when I was reading up on the character. And they say it's going to. It's going to be a little it's going to be a little more comedic in tone. So I think there's a lot of fun to be had with it. Oh, so, I just I feel like. The best Marvel movies right now are the ones that are take itself a little bit more seriously. Like it's it's a they know what they are. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing that worries me. If you make it too everything too funny, too jokey jokey. You already got yeah. Ant Man, you already have Thor, you seen what they've done to Thor. Mm-hmm. You know. I just, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, why really just kind of leaned too much into the humor because it hit so hard with Ragnarok and it was something that a lot of people loved. And I think even though I thought love and thunder in hindsight was okay, he just, he just was doing too much in terms of the humor. So, you know, but, but then, you know, we got stuff like Wakanda forever. That's that's not, that sounds like it's going to be more serious than not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If they strike up a balance that that's, that's what matters to me most, and kind of uh, know when to dial it back with the humor. When I read about one the, the, the few things I know about Wonder Man it reminded me of Ozzy Mandius, mm-hmm. Watchmen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like getting rich and getting becoming famous, and everyone knows about your powers and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and as you said, Ozzy Mandius, Mandius he, he's he's a dick. Yeah, it's <laughs> just he, he, he is a but, dick. You know, Ozymandias was a dick hiding behind a, a, like a, a facade because, like, in the graphic novel until the reveal, he was basically like Mister Rogers. You know, which made the reveal. I thought him like Superman, Superman, yeah, but not yeah. afraid to hide behind his secret identity. He had, doesn't need one because he's that good. Yeah, but you know, Zack Snyder doesn't understand the concept of the word subtlety, so it was really obvious that Ozymandias was up to it, was up to no good <laughs> from the beginning. You, know? you gotta be careful. You get canceled. Oh, okay. quick. <laughs> <laughs> you get talking about Zack Snyder. Remember that, guys. This has nothing to do with the sport of the case. It's all Brandon saying, Grand Man Brandon, that's the, he's the one saying all this stuff. We, we like Zack Snyder, but I, just, I like Zack Snyder. Oh, I, like, I like Zack Snyder, too. Hank from a visual standpoint, no, I don't hate it. I, I don't hate him at all. I think he's great visually, and fu- his his fight choreography just almost can't be beat. You know, he's great at what he is. He just, you know, he just kind of fails at storytelling from time to time. Yeah, that's how I feel. You know, he's all spectacle and visuals. 